Meet the R-Gator. This robotic vehicle boasts GPS navigation, infrared cameras, and obstacle sensors. Right now, its main mission is to support our troops and keep them from harm's way. But one day, its technology could be used here at home in your backyard. It's the creation of turf giant John Deere, whose utility vehicles are used for everything from farm tasks to military transport. But new demands of war, including large explosive devices known as IEDs, have sparked a need for robotically controlled vehicles that can control and even defuse bombs remotely. In initial tests at U.S. military installations such as Fort Benning and Fort Hood, the R-Gator has been used to carry and deploy smaller robots, such as those seen in the Academy Award-winning war film The Hurt Locker. So what we're doing here is we created this marsupial device then to uh, take the smaller bots, we load it onto this vehicle, and as they go in to clear a building with the smaller bot, we'll drop it off and then we'll take a uh, perimeter security, for example, around the whole village, pick up the smaller bot and then take it back to base. And this is basically, if there were small bots, they'd be on unloading right here. They just jump on by themselves. When not operated manually, the vehicle can be controlled through a laptop, computerized goggles, and by using a Microsoft Xbox controller. The gaming format is so familiar to young soldiers that it helped cut training from three weeks to 30 this minutes. This is your forward speed, yep. this is your reverse speed. Okay. GPS technology and a path recording dashboard unit let the R-Gator perform resupply tasks solo. Well, let's say we have a group of soldiers out in Afghanistan and they're running short on water, for example. What they want to do, because they have the wearable, it has the computer and the communications package, they would just reach into the front pouch and pull out the operator control unit send it back to what they call a forward operating base, send it for resupplies, and then have it come back to them. I gave it a whirl, and given its price tag of $350,000 to a million dollars, was glad it also had obstacle avoidance sensors. Like many of John Deere's higher tech vehicles, including its riding mowers and tractors, the R-Gator design initially was tweaked in virtual reality labs. First, John Deere employs a database of some 2,200 body scans called digital humans. So we put the large digital human into this. Imagine this is a cab. We put the digital human in there. You know, I had to reach around to actually actuate this switch. Well, that would have been really difficult. It saved us a lot of time. We were able to change that design. Then real humans step into the virtual world, strapping on a headset and gloves to interface with a vehicle's controls. Okay, and you told me not to move too fast. Why is that? We don't want you to get too motion sick. You got a bucket? My virtual body could measure reach to the steering wheel, distance to storage compartments, and visibility as the computer popped on attachments like snow blades and monitored my headroom. All the while, tracking my movements. The virtual lab saves time getting prototypes built. It also lets engineers quickly alter platforms for multiple uses. The R-Gator, for instance, has been tested by NASA as a surrogate for the Mars rover and could be used in perimeter security for nuclear power plants and other critical assets. Even at home, in the yard, robotic technology already is at work with small auto mowers such as these from Husqvarna and has been tested in baseball stadiums by John Deere. The thing about commercial mowing or homeowner mowing, for example, is that if you have a robot do it, it doesn't become a weekly event. Even sooner, the R-Gator could be helping with other chores. And let's say you're two miles away from the barn where you have all your supplies for your fence nails right. or for anything else and you want to send it back. Then you just hit playback and it'll run back without you in the path that you've already driven. Can it bring you a beer? I'm sure it could because it has cup holders on it. I like that. <laughs> this particular R-Gator was headed overseas where it would be enhanced by Boeing for the British Army. But not before I was able to catch one more free ride. Reporting from Charlotte, North Carolina for the Wall Street Journal, I'm Wendy Bounds.